yes. George and Samantha, what a lovely couple. Love is in the stitches, some say. Being together is all they ever needed. But then, one day, a wind came from nowhere. Whoosh. The strong gust swept Samantha off to an unknown place, away from George. She was gone. George was heartbroken. Crying for his beloved, he heard a voice from above. The time has come to prove your love, George. Who are you? George asked. Where's Samantha? This is the beginning of your story, George, the voice said. You must find a way to complete it. Suddenly, George was sucked away. George's quest to find Samantha had brought him to a very strange place. Where am I? What's going on? He asked aloud to no one, because no one else was there. George was alone. He quickly realized that his weight was important in this new place. That was surprising. Almost as surprising as the floating letters he saw. How is this possible? What are they doing here? He wondered. This place was definitely weird. George noticed a tightly wound ball of blue thread hanging over his head. It reminded him of his childhood for some young reason. He reached up to get a closer look 
and bang! Suddenly, he was blue and bigger. But how? His big blue self had the urge to stretch. Yes, stretch way out and boom! Then, just as suddenly, he was red again and staring directly at a copy of himself. What is going on? How is there another red version of me? Have I been cloned? George weighs as much as a small piece of cloth, about 100 grams. The second Red George moved along with him, which gave George an idea. Perhaps he could find a way to use this clone. If this is a clone, does that mean we're spun from the same genetic thread? George wondered. That would mean it is him, but also not, but well, also is, but uh, it was a complicated matter. Thank <laughs> you. 
Maybe, just maybe, it was the same George. But how could he be in two places at the same time? Hmm. Could this be quantum reality? George wondered. He had some knowledge of quantum physics, although he wasn't sure how. What he did know for certain was that he had to keep looking for Samantha. George combined with a George weighs 200 grams, which is logical.
As he ventured deeper into this strange realm, George noticed that things around him were changing, as if they were coming alive. 
spinning spikes, towering trampolines, terrifying traps. It was a mad world. And all these buttons. Was it really safe to simply go up and press all these buttons? None of this makes any sense, George shouted.
George wondered where all the clones were going. They passed through the bottle caps like he did, but they never appeared with him on the other side. At least, not in the same state. Am I in charge of saving them just because they're my clones? George pondered. I mean, we may all be stitches, but I'm here for one reason and one reason only. To save Samantha. Thank you. 